Mr. Popsit here. The most common question I get asked is what sunblock should I use? I've had 15 years to evaluate that question and here's the answer. Isden. I-S-D-I-N, link below in description, 10% off for the first purchase. Why is it the best? Medical grade, 100% mineral ultralight emulsion melts into your skin. Their scientists micronize zinc oxide so you literally can't see it on your skin. 50 SPF made for daily use on the face, decolletage, and hands. Coenzyme Q10 antioxidants and DNA repair zones that reduce inflammation and actually repair UV light damage. Available in tinted, non-tinted, and a powder. My wife loves the tinted so much she stopped using foundation. Only available online or in a doctor's office and this link only works in the United States. Literally the best sunblock I've ever put on my skin. Thanks for popping by. Hey, I'm Craig Lynch Durampia here and we have, we just removed some sutures of a cyst we removed there. We do have another epidermal inclusion cyst here. You can see that open pore. And then we have several blackheads and this is kind of a good transition. You can see some smaller ones here. It can start with just a clogged pore, then they get a little bit bigger like this one and then they can become kind of large. So getting them out at this point is what we try to do, getting these blackheads cleared out and uh, we'll do a little numbing there so we can cauterize the base and that'll stop it from regrowing. And then removing these cysts before they become really large ones and then they can burst and uh, they can become an abscess. So this is a lot of uh, what we're doing today is preventing but we'll get these taken care of and thanks to him for sharing so we can see how to do these correctly okay and we got some of these clogged pores we're just going to loosen up with a small needle you might not be able to see it's just a small one over there most of them were right here in the center Cotton tip applicators here, just a little squeeze and those pop right out. Those would be future cysts. We are stopping them early. Nice little hair right at the tip there you can see and a little bit of oxidization there. We get oxidized when they're exposed to the air. I think he, yeah, he's got one hiding down in there. Not too painful, just a little squeeze on some of these. Good. Is that too bright or is it good on the light? Maybe a little. Well, yeah. You can always tell it reflects a little bit. So this one, we kind of got a, a triple barrel here. <laughs> a little bit of skin in between. There's likely a small cyst starting there. So I am going to just open a little bit of that skin there. I have them numbed up. And he shouldn't feel anything here. Make the connection across there. And we're gonna do a deep squeeze here and we're gonna see what's in this pore. We already know there's some dry contents. Very good. Looks like triplets it is. And they're kind of interconnected as you can see. This one came out connected to that. And a little bit of contents underneath. So that's good. You can actually see each pore that was clogged there and a little hair follicle likely on there as well. So that's always interesting to see. It's oxidized at the top and then just a little pocket. Now that pocket's very superficial. So we can usually just do a little bit of pressure to get the remaining and do a little cautery. It's gonna close it right up there and that should destroy if there was a cyst starting in there. So that's good to get out. I'm gonna do a little loop here, just for some pressure at the bottom there. I don't think there's much left in there, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, it's just kind of the bottom of that blackhead. Make sure we come from every angle to get any loose contents out. That one off to the left there. That little pore there, that's what was in there. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, so I'm gonna cauterize that. And you shouldn't feel anything, there's just a little warmth possible. And 
this is just a little superficial scab here. Good. I will scab up, peel off, and that destroys anything down underneath. If it does try to regrow, we can do a punch, but this one's pretty shallow. Let's put a little Vaseline and a Band-Aid, and that kind of heat contracture closes that down. So that's good to get out. All his other little ones here too, those clogged pores, we prevented those by clearing that out. And that looks great. Okay.